Well, hi there. Welcome back to my channel. This is the channel, your channel, our channel, the channel to be for generations to come, isn't it? Welcome back. Those who are new, welcome, 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 welcome. This is a place to be. You've been missing a lot, but you can still catch up. Uh, yeah, this time, let me just first apologize for my previous upload, which is a lot of wind blowing and uh, maybe people cannot hear me clearly. I tried to push up that volume there so that it must be loud enough for you to pick up what I'm saying there. And I hope it works. I hope uh, uh, you do hear what I say there. <laughs> see now I'm so much covered I'm extra skinned with this jacket it's it's, it's the weather is 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 weathering today <laughs> it's weathering it's weathering it's it, now the wind is on its on its maximum Monday morning and I think everybody will remember this Monday morning should I mention the date what is the date now it's close to end of the month what is the date now it's 20, 20 what? 20, 25? Is it true? 25. September. <laughs> hey, it's true. It's 25 September. Monday morning. Those who know this morning, who have been up early in the morning, they will know the weather was talking. It was weathering today. Um, yeah, at least now I'm not outside because if I would be outside, you could not hear me at all and I could not even be able to speak. Now, you have seen, we, we are doing this now, going out to the people, talk to the people, interview, hear what the people's views are, what, you know, some of the things, you know, they are daily happening, um, but they are not tackled. People do not put them on the table we are just whispering in the deep whispering in the deep and not bringing it up speak up the voice so that now um, the necessary people those who are in line with our complaints with uh, what is affecting us should be able to answer and talk to us you know we must channel out a way to communicate because if we rely on on uh, governed uh, uh, media then you 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 wait and wait and wait and wait and wait at least now we have this youtube where we can say now here we are doing it the way the easier way for us to to access the necessary people uh, and of course uh, they are also interested in this content they want to know what people say uh, are, is, are we challenging them? Uh, you know, what's going on? The questions will always be there. And uh, yeah, let them take it first the way they want to take it until we are on the same level. Uh, until we understand each other that we are not attacking you. People are affected and you are the responsible people sitting there as leaders. But you are not leaders, you are sitting there like kings and queens ruling left right center dermakar so we don't want that dermakar thing we want a proper proper structure proper flow uh, what is the word where they say uh, transparency transparency uh transparency that is a very important thing okay now this time we have education 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 in namibia it's changing and changing and changing 
but uh, is it really progressing? Is it progressing enough? Is it prospering our people, our youth, now our generations? I went out also, uh, interviewed some people. Ah, but you know, it's so difficult nowadays. <laughs> Some of the people don't want to be on camera, you know, uh, yeah, but uh, okay, the, we, we, we go like willing, buy a willing, sell a thing. Uh, those who are willing to speak, those who are willing to convey the message, those who are willing to share, those who are willing to be good informants to educate people, we must share information. How do you see our education system. Hmm? The, the, the curriculum as it is, changing after every second year. There are just every January we have to complain about bad results from schools bad results from the students, bad results from teachers. Mm -hmm. Everybody is involved. Parents are involved, teachers are in mostly involved, and the students themselves. Mm -hmm. So the curriculum which is being changed, like the weather, while you think it's cold, the weather has changed. It's sunny, it's hot. While you think you can undress, it's hot, it's raining. This is the way our education system is weathering. You know, I don't see, personally, I don't see progress. I don't see progressive progress, developmental progress. I don't see development. I don't see. I, 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 I understand that our system is, is easier, but I don't understand why it does not reflect fruitfulness. Um, what I can say currently is that it, uh, uh, in Irongo, or uh, the education system in Irongo was known after independence as the region of excellence. Mm -hmm. But currently, as the education is now going on and the way education is handled has a bit come down. The results of our learners were not good in the past two, three years, was not good. So we have to see to it in the coming future what we can do uh, towards our education to better our education. Mm -hmm. uh, the this curriculum is a bit confusing. Yeah, I prefer our old curriculum. That was a very nice curriculum. But this new curriculum, they um, they are doing it now. It's really confusing, man. Like for me, it's really confusing. Me, I don't understand anything. Take it. As wat die kinders wat nou groot mense raak, wat vir hulle lewe moet skep, nie kan doen, verzijn jy. Ok, let me mention, first of all, before I talk about the curriculum, let's look at how many schools were built, how many schools were constructed, in the 30 years, 33 years by now. Town to town to town to town to town. By our <clears throat> government. Because we have mushrooming teachers and there's no space. 
that is now part one when we talk about how many schools part one mushrooming teachers no schools high teachers unemployment caused by poor leadership that hampers the provision of quality education we have over 2,000 children under the age of 16 without spaces in schools 90 percent of them are from poor vulnerable and marginalized background yet we have 80 percent of understaffed schools in the Tukawango regions with teachers teaching 70 to 90 learners in one class how about mushrooming children no schools It was disappointing to hear from the president that he did not know, he had no idea that teachers are taking so much effort gathering these children together under a tree, tents, and education continues. I mean, it has been happening before he came on the seat. And you are there on the seat and uh, it appears to you and you say, I never knew. But who are you representing? Those are the people who might have voted you and you have no idea of them. It's sad, it's very sad. <clears throat> It's alleged in the press statement that there are over 2,000 children under the age of 16 without places in schools and that 70 to 80 percent of schools across the country are understaffed. The ministry would like to refute these claims as false, incorrect, untrue and further state that the ministry is unaware of learners who could not be placed in a government school for the current academic year due to lack of space. If there are such children, we strongly advise the parents or guardians of those children to immediately approach our regional offices countrywide to seek for assistance. Teachers, unemployed teachers, as the, as the president is saying, our current president, Hage Kengo, says, government is not your God. Create own jobs. So these teachers are making effort unemployed teachers making effort gathering those children who are also uh, schoolless nowhere to, to 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 get school tent whatever get them together and now all of a sudden you find that yeah it's illegal i mean what are we talking about illegal to teach education which is a priority in our country it has become illegal to teach, to educate. <laughs> we have a problem. We have, I think the most important one thing, important if we talk about education as priority, build schools, build the schools. This, 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 it's not transparent enough if you say, Education is priority. And this, it does not reflect. What you are saying there does not reflect. You are building one school in five years. Across the country. Oh, come on. I don't want to become political. We are all politicians in this country. All of us, we are because we are affected. Whether you are interested or not interested, you are a politician. It affects you. You have to respond. You have to respond one way or the other. It's education, it's water, it's everything. Law enforcement, it's everything. Poverty, hunger, hmm? although it's one category, but it's unemployment in the, amongst the youth. The ministry is, however, aware of five unregistered community schools in the Kavango East with a total of 654 learners. The ministry have attended to this matter by advising and referring the parents and their learners to nearby government school for their registration and absorption.
For this very same reason, we have allocated funding for emergency construction of 14 classrooms in Dama South. The ministry admits that Kavango East has 45 schools with 40 to 80 learners in a class. The ministry believes that the majority of teaching students are graduating in fields of specialization which are already saturated, creating an oversupply of teachers in certain fields of study. We sympathize with those that are yet to secure employment in the teaching service, particularly our graduate uh, uh, teachers. However, the ministry regrettably cannot be obliged to recruit the unemployed teacher graduates beyond the capacity of our financial means and physical uh, facilities. I mean, companies, existing companies are closing down in Namibia. And you still talk about job creation and employing more people. While the employed people get unemployed, you are promising the employed to be employed. <laughs> Who's playing the game? Playing games are over. 30 years in the struggle, 30 years now in governance. Where are the fruits? Where are the fruits? Okay, I become too political. <laughs> There's nothing like becoming too political. Uh, it, keeping silent is also political. Not voting, especially our youth who say, ah, what's the use of not voting? Whether we vote A, B, C, whether we vote C, D, A, B, whatever way you put it, what difference will it make? Do you really feel that your vote is not counting? And if that's the case, Electoral Commission, should we come knock at your door and uh, do some interviews? What's happening? Encourage the youth. Encourage the youth. Make them understand more. Not only during election time. Throughout, throughout the time, make people... I mean, this is what is supposed to be happening also in schools. I don't know the curriculum which is going there, going on there. When these kids are out of school, they have they are they are clueless of what's going on so at least a lot of th those basic things human rights voting it should be implemented in school so that the children must understand what it is to be voting before their voting age the they, they, education is education eh? You become interested in becoming a doctor, engineer, before you are a doctor, because you have that interest. Something triggered you. So let's trigger them while they are there at school. Let's trigger them, make them understand. This is, we talk about education. Education. <laughs> I remember when I was a principal at the, at the other school. You know, you know. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's 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 hear what the people say. I'm talking too much. Let's hear what the people say. Okay. On the other side, they are asking grade twelve, and then on the other side, it's grade eleven, and everything is just confusing. I think the old curriculum was a better. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It's better to go to the yeah, previous. It must be changed. Yes, it must be changed. Okay. Because everything is just confusing. See, now let me say, for instance, you see now, uh, in their curriculum it says, okay, it says from grade 9. Some kids they are just jumping to grade 11. There's no more grade 10 in some schools. Mm -hmm. You see, they remove grade 10 in between there. So now what I don't understand, okay, now 
if there is a job now that is asking for a grade 10 certificate, is the kid going to represent grade 9 certificate or a grade 11 certificate? Mm. That's mm. the thing that I want to give me an answer on now. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yes, I think our old curriculum must be. It's better. Mm, it's this better. is now confusing. Ah, this one is a bit confu totally confusing. <laughs> Ministry of Education must do something there. It's really confusing. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. You are welcome, sir. <laughs> Another uh, idea is that if the current system is not working out, then we have to consider uh, uh, to, 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 to approach another uh, education system. But is it working out? Is it working out? Uh, is it not already time to to look at other uh, other systems? Other system. I think it's it's now uh, we have to already start to time. Look we have to start to look to other systems mm. and then we have to look also to the way how our current teachers are working mm -hmm. yeah in, in education and how they are approaching the, the learners the learners the the, 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 the 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 communication between the teachers and the learners how it, is it exactly yeah how is it is, uh, that, 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 is it not that we had which has caused that the learners are not performing well or is it the teachers uh, who are not uh, approaching the, the learners in a proper manner? That is the questions which we, have, which we must ask. But currently, our education system must seriously, seriously be, do, be, be reviewed. Yeah. It must be reviewed. It, it must be reviewed, yeah. Yeah, that's actually the main purpose of, yeah. of the interview, yeah. is whether the, this system must be reviewed or is it fine the way it is? It must be reviewed. It must be reviewed. It must be reviewed. So, Zali. Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. I know we always want to get apart from the things that are here. It's for us to get up very good and as you want to get up. Now, come up with that. Yeah, yeah. Look, it's a little bit of a part of the people as haar oor vergaderings met die skole was. Mm -hmm. Soos wat jy genoem het van die kinders was altijd gesê, ons weet hoe ons sal kom met die skole. Mm -hmm. Vandaag is daar nie ouwe sal kom met die skole. Nou, dis precies, hoe kom met die ouwe sien meer? My vertuig Ja, maar nou die ander ding, dat het jy ook gebeur. Jy het met jou kind gesit en na die belangrikheid van, van die akademies laat verstaan. Jy het dit laat verstaan by die sportsafdeling kan om al kante uit te blik. Hoeveel van die ander ouwers het tyd om met hulle kinders te sit en hierdie goed te laat verstaan te gee die ouwers nie meer om, omdat hy homself ook nie school het nie of waar kom die groot breek in in ons levens vandag wat ons nog in die 20 century het? Nou, hoe jy daar ook praat, dan is hy